This is Morgana Key, and as you can see, I've been back in time. I've been back in time to 1998, and I went to Burger King, and I ordered a, a kid's meal. <laughs> and I uh, got a drink with it as well. Uh, this is Sonic R. Who remembers Sonic R? Uh, if you don't remember it, consider yourself lucky, because it was absolute dross. Shelley claims to really like it, but I think she is just in denial and is clearly lying to herself. So I've got a full set, still in their original bags, no less, of Sonic the Hedgehog Burger King Kids Meal Toys. What I find strange, though, is it's clearly branded as Sonic R, but all of the figures themselves just look like generic Sonic games and there's no mention of Sonic R on any of them that I can see So maybe they were just playing into the hype of Sonic R being released and decided to just release generic Sonic toys Who knows? Who cares? Not I So here is our leaflet and there's five to get there is Robotnik, Sonic and Robotnik, Tails, Knuckles and like a weird analog Sonic face game I guess and there's all the instructions of how these things work I may have to consult them because I can't figure out how kids toys work so first we've got this bizarre Sonic head thing it's actually got the buttons uh, the directional buttons it's got ABCD like a Sega Saturn so I'll give them that I suppose Burger King branding on the back, trademark, 1998 Sega, manufactured for Burger King Corporation, made in China, SU6. So what do you do with this? Okay, you press that and it vibrates. What? <laughs> is it a bit like pinball? A bit like Bagatelle? What is it? I like how the instructions purely say, uh, just to do that. I'm really confused. Is it like a racetrack? I'm trying to like figure it out myself and also show you what I'm doing. Quite difficult. I am so baffled right now. I think it is supposed to be like um, dodgems or bumper cars or something. Because if you look closely there we've got Sonic and we've got Robotnik. Uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Next, we have got this one. Uh, Sonic and Robotnik. They just seem like hard plastic. Have I left something in the bag? No, I don't appear to have. What does the instructions say? Uh, you, you pull them back, apparently. Oh, do we? Do we pull them back? It's not like they've got any like friction motors or anything. He's a bit like wibbly wobbly. Oh, I'm really, really baffled here. <laughs> what are they just? Are they just figures that you can whack into each other? I'm not being stupid. <laughs> there is nothing on the bottom of these things that would enable them to move. There's no friction motor. There's no ball bearing. What the hell? But let's just look at the sculpt anyway. Sonic's face is a bit um, squashed, shall we say. His spikes are a bit short. He looks very strange from the back. Uh, Robotnik seems alright. He's a bit skinny. He's like been squished in at the side. He's got a really long pointy pinhead. But his, the sculpt of his um, egg cat thing that he rides is pretty decent. I honestly just think you're meant to hit it, judging by the that illustration there. You pull Sonic back and whack into him, so... Is that it? <laughs> is that it? Okay, we've got Tails, who looks uh, very bizarre. He kind of looked like that in the original Archie's comics. He's got big chunky feet and a spinny tail and it comes with uh, that which looks a bit, if you can see it, like the silhouette of the final boss from Sonic 2. So I assume that's a target. 
Now, unlike the other one, he actually does have wheels and a friction motor, from what I can see. So we pull him back, and he does that. He does that off the table. Let's see if I can actually hit the target. You stand there. Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit underwhelmed. Is it because I'm 26? Or would I have been underwhelmed at the time if I got this in my Burger King kids meal? Quite possibly. I just had to retrieve him from behind the table. But I really like Tails. Tails is my favourite Sonic character, so I'm always down to have more Tails merch. Especially this one in the 90s style where he's more orange than yellow. Really doesn't look like how he, does on, he looks on the box though, it has to be said. Next we've got Knuckles. Knuckles looks pretty cool actually. He's like on a big cloud for some reason. Probably so he looks like he's gliding. Uh, the Master Emerald Shrine was on clouds. Yeah, I'll go with that. His sculpt's pretty decent. I like his little fists. His shoes are a bit naff. Because uh, Knuckles' shoes, as you can see on the box, they've got a bit more colour to them. There's no yellow on them. Uh, he also comes with a target of sorts. That looks like some of from Mean Bean Machine. Is it that um, chicken robot dude? Looks a bit like him. Right, you stand there. Now, Knuckles is not a pullback one. He is a wind-up one. All right, calm down. I'll let you go when you wound up. And let him go. And he does more or less the same thing the Tails did. Except, and I'll show you, when you wind him up, he like punches. Sort of. It's really quick, you can barely see it. Well, you can see it to the naked eye, you can barely see it through the viewfinder. And toy number five comes with a warning on it. Warning, this is a water toy. Seepage may occur. So I'm going to have to come back in a second after I have filled this with water. Bear with. Right, a public service announcement. If for whatever reason you acquire one of these and uh, want to use it, don't pay any attention to that illustration of holding it under a tap because it doesn't work. I stood there for about 10 minutes and I was poking it and I tried sticking a straw in it and it just wouldn't have it. So then I thought I'll go upstairs, fill up the sink and submerge it. Turns out that's what I should have been doing. But, as this is basically a mini waterfall ring toss game type thing, uh, this button releases an air bubble. And the very same air bubble comes from the same hole where you fill the water up. So the air was stopping the water going in it. So I basically had to submerge my hand in freezing cold water, bearing in mind it is, there's like six inches of snow outside. My fingers have gone purple. Uh, I cannot feel them whatsoever. And just keep pressing the button until it filled up. So that's how you fill it up, and if you choose to fill it up, I recommend you use warm water, or you don't do it in the middle of February. PSA, over. And uh, they were right about seepage, because there's little drips of water coming off it. If you can see in there, there's some rings, there's the little air hole type thing, and if you press this button, some air will come out, in theory. Let's angle this down a bit, and we'll see. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing, but I think... Can you see the rings? The rings flying around? I think the object of the game, as stupid as it may sound, is to flip these green rings onto Robotnik's moustache. And water is just pouring out everywhere. I am going to have to go and get a towel. This is very badly designed. That seal is absolutely terrible. Plus it doesn't really help that the fact the hole the water you fill up is also the hole where the air comes from. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible design. In theory, it's a good idea. It's a nice toy in theory. It doesn't work. You get hypothermia filling it up, and then you soak the goddamn place when you try and play with it. Going to get a towel. So, here's the full collection of toys. I would say the best one is probably either Knuckles or Tails. 
because they actually work as intended. The Sonic one is just garbage and requires like friction power to work. This I still haven't figured out. And this friggin' thing just leaks water everywhere. I'm gonna have to get the towel again. You get hypothermia filling it up and then it drips water all over your goddamn table. Pain in the ass. I wonder if people didn't like Sonic R. Incidentally, I checked the bottom of the mailbox and I uh, didn't find a power ring, so I am not going to be able to win a pair of inline skates. But I can, however, send this off. Think up a friend for Sonic. Tell us about their special powers using the space provided only. Alright, I would think up uh, a cat, a purple cat, and he's big, so they can call him Big, the cat, and he likes to go fishing, and he has a friend that's a frog, and he calls him Froggy. Yeah, I'm totally going to win a pair of inline skates with that idea.